Welcome back to my shop. This is the fifth installment of my Intarsia vlog. Now I don't have a whole lot to report this week uh, and that's basically because I'm still in the process of cutting pieces out. There's about 71 pieces in this particular project uh, and they're very small and you want to be very careful and very precise so it's taken me quite a while to cut them out. So what I thought I would do this week is talk a little bit about sanding the pieces. Kind of get prepared for that because that is the next big step, sanding and shaping. When it comes to shaping an intarsia piece, you can do it without all the expensive equipment. It does help to have a sander or a drill press, but it's not entirely necessary if you're willing to put a little more time and effort into the project. Occasionally, I'll pull out a set of uh, carving knives. Now, I picked these up at Woodcraft. I think I paid about 40 bucks for the set, um, so, and they're really handy for shaping pieces. I've also been known to pull out some rasps. I have an inexpensive set of rasps. I believe I picked them up at Sears. They were probably 10 or 12 bucks, and I use those to uh, shape as well. If you have a drill press, it's a good idea to pick up a set of these, these drums that you can chuck up in your drill and use for shaping. I don't remember where I got these. I've had them for the longest time, but they work great. I've used them on many Intarsia projects. A couple of weeks ago, I purchased this spindle sander. Now the nice thing about this sander is the drum not only spins, but it also raises and lowers so that it doesn't leave a lot of lines in the piece that you're sanding. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. I literally just unboxed this spindle sander, so I've never used this on an Intarsia project. I'm really excited about the opportunity to get to try this. Um, it wasn't very expensive. I think I paid about $120, $130 for it, which is a lot of money, but uh, I think it's going to come in handy not only for Intarsia projects, but for many other projects around the shop. I'd like to show you just how easy this tool is to use. Now, it's going to get a bit noisy because I'm going to have to turn on my shop vac for dust collection, but if you'll bear with me, I think you'll see the benefit of this tool when we're done. This is just a simple piece of 2 by 4 You can see where I was playing on the other side of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this drum uh, and show you how it can easily shape a piece of wood. You can see that just in a matter of seconds I was able to really take a lot of material away and that's why I'm excited about using this tool because I think some of the larger pieces I'm going to be able to round and shape very quickly. I'm not recommending that you rush right out and plop down 120, 30 whatever dollars on a spindle sander. Um, what I wanted to make a point of is before you start an Intarsia project make sure you have a decent way to shape your pieces. And if you don't have a sander or you don't have a drill press, you can still do it with sandpaper, knives, and rasps, but bear in mind it is going to make the project take quite a bit longer. I've got one last tip that I want to talk about in regard to sanding, and that is this. This is just a rubber eraser, okay? These are not real expensive. They're probably five to ten bucks. And these things are absolutely amazing because as you sand, the wood is going to clog up the sandpaper. This will clean the paper. Let me give you an example of how this thing works. All right, let's take a look at how this rubber eraser is going to work cleaning this drum. <laughs> What it's done, it's left a little bit of rubber on the wheel, but that'll come right off. It's taken all of the sawdust from my sanding of the 2x4 a while ago off of the disc and left the disc clean, which is going to extend the life of my disc and allow it to sand better because the grit is going to be able to get to the wood as opposed to being plugged up and just burnishing the piece of wood. I hope you found some of the information that I've given you in this particular vlog entry to be helpful to you. And I hope that as you attempt your own intarsia, that you're able to use some of the tips that I've provided. I'll be working on cutting out my pieces this week, and hopefully, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed, I'll have them all cut out so that next week I can actually start shaping and show you some of that in, in the vlog entry number six. Thanks for watching. 
Thanks for visiting the shop. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe. And everyone have a wonderful day. If there's any questions I can answer or you have any comments, please feel free to post them and I will get back with you. Have a great day, guys. Take care.